Yes, guys, I'm out here in my truck, my Dakota. Y'all know why? I'm about to make a scrap yard run. Uh, two reasons, guys. I gotta get this stuff off my truck because I'm taking my truck home this weekend and clean out my garage. That's right, PT Cruiser. I mean, PT, uh, PT Lover. I'm gonna clean out my garage today. So, I need my truck. Man, this truck been sitting so long. Yes, I had to jump it off. All right, let me go ahead and take it in the shop because I got some more goodies I want to collect. Some more batteries and some more radiators. Let's go get the rest of this stuff, guys. We gotta get to the scrap yard. Let's get it! The rest of those. Hey, look at this. Guys, man, I got all these from Brothers Motors. I put them on our GR8 tester. They all fail. So at that point, I don't need them no more. I can get if they pass, I keep them for good battery, good spare battery, but they fail. Alright, let me load the rest of this stuff up, guys. I gotta go. Ooh, right you guys, I'm in the shot. Uh, that's about it. Let's see. Anybody wanna take a, a guess, a wild guess? It's not much, but I tell you what, uh, it's more than what I had, right? Might wanna take a guess before I go. I'm headed to the scrapyard, guys. Uh, now the rotors and steel and all that, I tend to steer clear of that because it don't, it's not really worth my time. Batteries are pretty lucrative and uh, aluminum radiators. A lot of people always say split them up. I don't got time for all that. If, but I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get. So if I had a lot of time on my hand, then yeah. Uh, my buddy did a timing chain cover. He did not know if you order a cover for whatever reason, it's gonna come with the water pump and the housing on it and everything. So just aluminum. This engine was sludge too, guys. Look at that. Yeah. So I don't know what's with these people in the sludge and not changing their oil on time, but that's not what this is about. So let me head to the scrap yard. They close at three. It is one something now. Batteries and radiators. Pretty much aluminum. So I might not have to get on the scale. See, there's some more junk over here. Like, yeah, axles. I ain't interested in all that. That's another whole load. So I got to get this before the other guys get it. But I want to do some videos on this stuff. I want to pull this valve cover off and go over with you guys some of the things about the this three lead, uh three six pentastar that's a world engine i think so yeah i wanted to cover some things with y'all but if i run out of time just out of time exhaust manifold muffler none of this stuff pays anything so that they can keep this if we if it happens it happens guys because i want to talk about all the sensors on this engine is not new it's just there's some things out there people still don't know for instance <laughs> who all knew where they hide the damn knock sensors that's right guys in the middle of this galley underneath the oil field adapter housing is knock sensors now y'all know what these knock sensors are for in the event that spark knock occur or detonation or anything uh, those sensors will send the signal to the pcm to either advance or retard the timing all right so try not to use I don't know, super low octane fuel or there's a lot of things can cause your car to spark knock or detonation, but those knock sensors are designed to detect such knocking and uh alert the PCM. Hey, retard the timing. Do something. We're knocking, we pinging. Detonation. I hope I did that right. If not, hey, see this ain't trash, guys. Now I understand like the last video I did, I was telling y'all to go off your cap as far as what kind of oil you use. See how easy it is to just take a cap off an old engine and put it on a car that may not actually cause for this? I get it, guys. I understand. Uh, that's why um, the owner's manual or the parts department, when the parts department puts your VIN in, they will see any revision that car maker have put in place as far as what kind of oil your car use. So even if your cap say one thing, maybe the car makers sat around the table and decided hey we, we made a mistake your car will run better at 5w30 all right so the first people they likely will alert is their database that's where the parts department get their information from the database so uh, i gotta go uh so let me go to scrap yard guys uh y'all want to come with me i don't know how much battery power i got but i'll try to film some of it all right yeah i already rolled walked around and tried to find some most junk but ain't much going on. Oh, and the other guy get grabs all the rotors. So guys, y'all hold tight. Next time I fire this up, we should be at the scrap yard. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, that's all park garage down there guys. The scrap yard is, that turn should be coming up. Uh, Where is it at? I ain't been out here. Where is the freaking scrap yard? I'm going to the scrap yard guys for those of you that didn't catch 
this short video. Oh, here it is. Um, uh, I got a bunch of radiators and aluminum radiators and uh, batteries and, and at the last minute my buddy throwed a transmission back here. So we're gonna see how much extra money widen the nation recycle. Uh, from my understanding, they close at three. It is not three, so I should be good. I don't know how they feel about filming, so I will not openly film on this lot. But uh, let's head on out here and see what's popping. All right. Oh goodness gracious! What a regular road. Supposed to be this is a scrap yard, junkyard. Now, I don't even remember the rules. I think I'm supposed to stop up here. Wow, look at all this crap. It looks like hell out here, guys. All right, let's see what's the next step. Y'all hold tight. It's just aluminum radiators and batteries. All right. Whew, small scale, guys. Thank goodness. I didn't want to get on that big scale. cars out here man i'm still tripping off this damn pt cruiser why is this pt cruiser at a scrap yard that's nothing scrap about a pt cruiser that is a beautiful little car pt lover what you think o2 maybe o3 maybe no turbo i'll take that joker and fix it up all right i'm talking too much let me go get my sticker guy we're gonna go find out how much money we got y'all stay tuned memo it's more money than i had whoa guys it's starting to get busy Man, look at this, what they trying to sell to the scrapyard. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? Can anybody make that out? That freaking thing is huge. It's obviously they'll accept anything. Look at this, my man here got a truckload of uh, condensers, home AC look like. There's no telling what's in that van. Oh, alrighty guys, I'm done. All right, before I reveal the amount again, who guess what? And ladies and gentlemen, what I received for the truckload of garbage. Good news is, now I got a clear truck. I'm going to uh, go to the detail and wash all this out. Because I got to go home and load some stuff out of my garage. Clean my garage. Yes, PT lover, you heard me. I'm cleaning out my garage this time. I'm for real this time. I ain't playing. Ladies and gentlemen, what I received was $102. Interesting. Now, let's break this down. Aluminum radiators paid me twelve dollars and six cents that's it okay they're not so lucrative anymore breakage 40 percent recovery 265 i think that's the uh that transmission uh oh i'm gonna have to get more transmissions then 31 that's why i'm gonna go back and get those engines once i make the video there's some engines and transmission in the back so i'm gonna do that i got 31 dollars for that and the batteries ladies and gentlemen paid 60 bucks i can't recall how many battery it was doesn't matter they was all dead because i ran my gre test and found out so i don't know if y'all good with breaking that stuff down kudos to y'all but uh that's all we got man hey look at that beauty right there all right i'm done i'm headed back to the shop and then i'm headed home and clean out my freaking garage i appreciate y'all watching these videos man a little something different for you guys i'm always looking out for my 101,000 subscribers thanks to you guys that's the only way I got there. My dude, Fluffy Mexican, what's poppin', baby? Texas. I'm gonna have to make a trip out to, uh, to Texas deal and uh, see what Nissan doing. They got they got some secret stuff going on out there. I need to go find out. <laughs> That's all I have, man, guys. Yeah, I appreciate y'all watching.